You know when Beyonce was like, what's my aspiration in life? Well, my aspiration in life, not that she asked me personally, is to help people make spaces look high end without breaking the bank. That is, I truly believe that's what I was put on this planet to do. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in today's video. I'm going to give you a primary bedroom tour. I'm going to show you these luxury lookalikes that I found from your favorite stores like Ikea and Amazon and Target and Facebook Marketplace and show you how you can curate a beautiful home from these more affordable stores. When you first come in, you are greeted by these nightstands. Now, we have too much shit. That is a fact, it's a fact. And we have a lot of clothes, right? I like to exclusively wear sweatshirts. I only get dressed to film these videos for you. It is a miracle that I have pants on and that is because I knew I was going to show my full body, but I love to wear sweatshirts so they take up a lot of space. That's the point I was trying to make. Anyway, I knew I wanted like a bachelor's chest style something, but did you know that the average bachelor's chest costs like $700? $700 for it to hold, um, you know, some Tums and your books? That to me is ridiculous. So I went to Ikea and I got these Copang three drawer dressers. And for my Swedish folks listening to this, if I have messed that up, I am sorry. I'm very sorry. So what I did is I picked these up and I just switched out the hardware and I switched it out for other Ikea hardware. So I believe this is around $150, $120. So I got two of these and now I have these big giant bachelor's chests. Now I'm breaking a few design rules, right? My nightstand is a little bit higher than my mattress, but it works for me. And also it works for another reason, which I'll show you in a second. Now this is a good time, honestly, to talk about the first luxury item. And that is this fire pit. Now I live in the very cold city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and heat is expensive, right? I like the Lux look for less. What do you think I'm gonna pay for heat? You must've lost your mind. So I love to use these fire pits, not only for the vibes, but for the free heat. And so this is just a marvelous Amazon find. What you do is you put these rocks in here, which it comes with, and some isopropanol, some ethanol, you know, disinfect some wounds, light your fire. And you can't use your cute matches for this because you'll set yourself on fire. So what you'll do instead, it should grab one of these ugly bad boys and you'll light it. It's a great way to fill up a nightstand or a tabletop or anything when there's no other stuff you really wanna contribute. This packs a punch. Now as for what is behind the nightstand, I wanted some really incredible art. Here's, here's my stance on art. You're either gonna pay the price, you're gonna invest in someone and you're just gonna be cry about it later or you're gonna do something really affordable and go on Etsy. So that's what I did right here. This is artwork from Etsy. I think I got the set of six, I think they came with actually nine, but I only used six, six printables for around 15 bucks maybe. Then I went to my local Walgreens, had them printed. I think I printed them for around also like maybe 20 bucks. Um, and I put them in these frames from Amazon. They came with the mats and I think they look absolutely glorious. Now I used to have mirrors on either side of the bed, but I posted a reel about this actually over on Instagram and people told me that, um, mirrors were kind of like portals for demons and stuff. And I'm way too superstitious. I need all the good luck that I can get. So I parted with them and I have these and I think they pack enough of a punch that I don't have to have anything above the bed, which I really, really love. I also wanted some sconces because I like to leave this clear. Like guys, I, I have my Stanleys on here at nighttime. You know, sometimes I need a little snacky at nighttime. I take so many medications, well, less so now that I've lost weight um, and done other things, but I take so many medications. I need room on my nightstand. So I knew there wasn't space for table lamps. So I got these sconces on Amazon, believe it or not. So they are inspired by, inspired by, you see that? Anyone, I said inspired by, I didn't call it the D word. I'm not gonna say that, but <laughs> I was inspired by um, the Kelly Wurstler sconces, which were around $800 to $1,200 a piece. These are around $200 a piece, so quite a price reduction. And I found them on Amazon. So they do have a solid alabaster slab here, and then they're hardwired. So these are not plug-in sconces, so they are hardwired, but it came with the bulbs, and the electrician seemed to think it was super easy. And all I did is that I went on Amazon and I got like this wireless situation that allowed me to actually put the like plug on the side of my nightstand and then you just press the button, it turns off and then you press the button, it turns on. So any nightstand, if I decide I wanna change my nightstand, I'll just unscrew it and screw it onto something else because there are no wires. And I think that kit was like 20 bucks or something like that. So I love these, I'll turn off the overhead lights what a nice glow. Um, I like to touch them in the morning to wake myself up because my, when my alarm goes off, I'm like, girl, shut up. But 
I love these. Just a little switch there. I think it really elevates the space and creates a nice vignette on the side. And again, I'll do a little pan here and just show you the difference. So that's it without it on. And I have to loosen my tripod to actually be able to show you. And then when you go across the bed, you can see that with it on. And I'll turn the lights off again. A really decent amount of light, but not too much light that I'll wake up, you know, my spouse on the other side of the bed or something like that. That's my side for frame of reference, the one over there. Next, I'd like to talk about the actual bed frame. So I looked for months and months and months and months and months and months for a bed frame that had a really tall headboard and was affordable. And everyone that I found with a tall headboard honestly wouldn't fit into the house. And they're $3,000, $4,000, $5,000. For me personally, it's just not worth it. I found this one on Wayfair for around 1300 bucks for a king size and it's very sturdy. So it's by the brand Bernhardt. And Bernhardt, if you're not familiar with it, they're a company that sells wholesale to a lot of designers. So a lot of designers will actually like try and sell you Bernhardt furniture, though you can buy some of it some places like on Wayfair. Anyway, very luxurious feeling bed. And I love that it came with a footboard so the covers don't fall into the ground. Um, and it's really like hefty and sturdy, but it is an off white. But I really enjoyed it. I actually took the slats in and threw it away because we do have an adjustable base. So I didn't need those. So I can't really speak to those, but I have loved this bed. I, it just was made with such care and it doesn't snag super easily. As you guys know, I always like to have like the stiletto nails and I haven't had any problems with this bed. Um, and that's a first because I do snag most things. Now I'm sure you are all are tired of hearing about like my bedding setup, so I won't go into it too much, but I do want to talk about this faux fur blanket because it just screams luxury. Um, if the end of your bed is not bathed, if you don't feel like uh, ironing your wrinkled linen, you just throw this on top and it gets the job done. It comes in so many different colors. I think it just adds um, like a visual pop to the base of the bed that I, I really, really love. Next, I wanna draw your attention to like this overhead chandelier. So this is a five tier chandelier with 410 crystals on it. I don't know why my camera is like doing the electric slide right now, but this is the chandelier here. And this is also an Amazon find. If you guys wanna know how I find all these things on Amazon, one, follow me on Instagram because that's where I share really all of the tea. And two, I use Amazon Lens. There, I've told you, now you don't need to follow me. Poor me. And it was around, I think, $1,000, which for a five-tier crystal chandelier is almost unheard of, and it is dimmable. I'll cut through some B-roll of that. It's really hard to dim because I have um, Philips Hue lights up there, and Hue lights do not dim easily. They start flickering. You start thinking it's a scary movie, and I don't want to subject you to that. But uh, this chandelier has been a total game changer, and it casts this beautiful shadow on the wall. People always ask me if this is wallpaper, and it's not. It's just from the light fixtures. So that's also part of the reason why I don't feel like I need something above the bed, um, because that just looks so beautiful in and of itself. Now, on this side of the room, I have a designer item, and I didn't, I didn't actually change anything about the room to film this for you, because I wanted to give you like a realistic look. So our dog sleeps in his bed here. This is his chair. And these chairs were gifted to me from our house. So they were not cheap, but I didn't pay for them. <laughs> Um, but I did pay tax on them. Anyway, I also have these Orbiter lamps from Restoration Hardware. So I got them at the Restoration Hardware outlet. I think I paid $750 for the set of them. Um, I think they're normally $750 a piece. So they were still a pretty penny, but I really love the shape of these. You could get the look very similarly with like the other task lamps that um, I show you, especially um, the new ones that I have in my living room. I actually found a lookalike on Amazon. So I can link those for you to try. I think they're around $380 a piece. I've not ordered them yet. I will order one, give it a test and kind of um, see if it's worth your money. But I love these and these are actually dimmable. The only downside is the cord is incredibly difficult to hide. But I'll show you just how dimmable they are. You can actually do it with your foot, which I like, but they dim super well and they give off a ton, a ton of light. Now, I also have a lot of other artwork in my home. Um, I'm a huge fan of art, as I've said. So I have this painting on the back wall there. I know you didn't expect me to have any color. And then on the side of that, I also have this faux olive tree. Now I made a YouTube video pretty much saying that olive trees were out. One of my longest brand partners is actually Value City Furniture and they came out with this one. And when I saw it in store, I thought it was a real tree. I was so impressed that it was like, wow, I've got to have this. So if you've been here, if you've been rocking with me for a while, you know Value City, that's where I bought my furniture when I first was in college. I saved up all my coins to um, buy from them. 
And now I've been in partnership with them. This is my second year in partnership with them. So it's really a dream come true, right? Um, started from the bottom, now we're here. And now I get to help them bring like really uh, luxury inspired items to you at a fraction of the cost, which is like a dream come true for me. But anyway, I saw this tree and it looks so realistic that I had to get it. So that's why I have this in here. And I love that I can have a pop of greenery without actually having to have a tree in here because I literally can't take the bugs. Like if I see a spider, I'm gonna pass out. And then right beside it, I also have these dressers similarly from Value City Furniture. So as you can see, these are massive massive dressers. Um, I'll open up a drawer as long as you don't judge me. And I know my art is not the same height there. So please leave me alone. I'm working on it. So here's a drawer, for example, here are all my exercise clothes. They're kind of folded a little bit, but they're really deep dressers. And the top um, row has velvet in it for all of your, I don't know, whatever you'd use that for, but they're super deep. Um, we have closets, but we couldn't use our closet. We then had them built out. So <laughs> it is what it is. But these fit everything, like all of my sweatshirts, all of the things in addition to what spills over into those um, nightstands. But these are really wonderful. They, they feel really high end and they actually come with mirrors in the back. Um, I didn't want the mirrors, I actually gave them to my contractor. Um, I don't know what on earth he used them for, but that's not my business. But they did come with mirrors, but I don't like to stare at myself when I'm in bed. That makes me feel uncomfy, but these are so high end. And as I've already stated, my art is not equally spaced. I'm working on it, please leave me alone. But I also have art up here and then a super long picture light, which was a big splurge for us. I think it was around a thousand dollars. So that's a lot, but um, I love how big it is. I think it's like six feet wide or something like that. Next, I'd like you to join me in our primary bathroom. So this is where I spend a lot of time because when I can't sleep at night, I come and sit in here. So I've done a lot of things in the bathroom that you're gonna think are kind of weird, but this is my world, so come on in. So the very first way that I cut costs in the bathroom was to get tile that looked like marble instead of actual marble, especially since I dye my hair. Yes, I'm not a natural blonde, in case you didn't know that, which obviously you did, but purple shampoo was gonna ruin it. So I got tile that looked like marble, it was still expensive, but comparatively not as much. The next way that I saved money was on a towel bar. Did you guys know that towel bars are like hundreds of dollars for tang your towel? Absolutely not. So what I did, I was inspired by For The Home, so I'll tag her down in the description box. And she got a curtain rod and she used it for her towel. So that's what I decided to do. I picked up this curtain rod from Ikea. I think it was around, I don't know, $29, ugh, ugh, don't look at that. We lost this, but I'm replacing these because I hate the way dimmers sound, so it doesn't matter, so don't look at it. But I got this from Ikea, I think it was like $29, and it's really nice and long. I think it extends up to like seven feet. I think we have it at five feet, so there's ample space for all of your towels. The next little elevated touch I did, and I'm gonna sit here, but I'm not going to the bathroom, okay? The next little, elevated touch I did is I put a side table in the bathroom. Reason being, sometimes you just sit in the bathroom, right? Sometimes that's what the spirit moves you to do. So I have a little tray here. I have my additional toilet paper and stuff, but I also have a phone charger, right? Right? You know, there's nothing worse. You're going to the bathroom or you're just sitting in the bathroom, whatever, your phone dies, and you're reading the back of the shampoo bottle. Do you know how hard it is to reach the shampoo bottle from right here? Ridiculous. I also have things such as cough drops. Say you are not feeling well, you need a cough drop, you don't wanna wake up the person sleeping with you. They're right here. And tampons, you know? And then you have a table, you can set your phone up, it doesn't really matter, live your best life. But this is kind of like a luxurious element that I've added to my bathroom. Along with my towel warmer, it warms my towels. I've actually, I've actually just warmed up a pair of slippers for myself. Don't mind if I do. Look at these bad boys, nice and steamy. We're going on the dogs. Oh, I'll keep that in. I'll keep it in, I'll keep it in. That's it. Nice and toasty. It can toast, not toast, but it can toast slippers, robes, things like that. Here is a towel. And then I just throw it up here but a nice luxurious element. Let's talk about the vanity area. So the vanity was a major splurge and I regret it because it sucks. So I'm not gonna go into anything besides that, but 
you know, so that it didn't look super cluttered all the time. I put everything on this marble tray from Amazon and I love it. I can pick it up, move everything, hide it in a closet if I'm tired of looking at it, even put it in one of these drawers. But otherwise I have a nice marble accent, the only one that I could really afford right here. I think it just frames everything out, gives everything a space so that everything isn't all over the countertop. Another elevated element, in my opinion, is the Echo here. So if you're not familiar with this, this is a Amazon Echo and it's equipped with that robot named Alexa. And what I love about this is when I'm sitting here doing my skincare or something like that, I can say, Alexa, go to Prime Video. And I can watch all of my TV and do my skincare, right? And kind of like exist. It's like having a TV in the bathroom like they do at a hotel, but at home. And you can see the type of things I watch. 90 Day Fiance. I love a mama's boy. Return to Amish. I really like reality television. It's how I have parasocial relationships since I don't go outside. And last, but certainly not least, I found these mirrors on Amazon. So they look very similar to the Restoration Hardware Thaddeus collection. Don't look at the second bulb there. Um, this light bulb was $25, so I tried to find a more affordable alternative. Obviously, it doesn't work super well, so <laughs> I've ordered the expensive one. But for now, it looks stupid. But I got these mirrors, $405 a piece, I believe, as compared to $3,500 a piece. These are heavy as I don't know what. I had to take many breaks carrying them upstairs. And you can just see the level of detail. So it's a really nice hammered look. Super simple. It's not the perfectly same gold match, but I really don't care about that. I've decided not to commit my life to doing things like that, but it's a nice hammered finish, super he heavy. Um, Steve had a really hard time hanging these and I'll put my contractor's information in the description box if you are based in Pittsburgh. He's very good, very attentive, um, and he has my stamp of approval. But that is it for today's video. I hope I showed you that you can achieve the luxurious look for less. You just need to know where to shop. Ikea, Amazon, Facebook Marketplace. That's where I got the rug from. I forgot to mention that. I got this 10 by 14 restoration hardware rug for $150 um, on Facebook Marketplace. It's like a silk wool blend. And then I did have to pay like $400 to get it professionally deep cleaned. But oh my gosh, amazing. You need to shop at places like Facebook Marketplace and Target, Ikea, Amazon, Value City Furniture. There's so many great places to find luxurious inspired items. You just need to know where to look. So if you ever need a guru to help you out, that is what I'm here for. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will link everything that is still in stock down in my description box so that you can go and pick it up. But let me know what kind of video you want to see next. Do you want me to teach you how to find luxurious items? Do you want me to find luxurious items in your area? Let me know the type of content you want to see and I am excited to make it. Thank you so much for watching today's video and until next time, have a beautiful day.